Okay, so you guys asked for this one. I did a review on a travel trailer a while back and you guys said, you know what? Grand Design makes a transcend floor plan that's just like that. Could you please review it as well? So I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Bernie, Texas. And we're gonna take a look at this really cool Grand Design Transcend Explore travel trailer. What is the big deal about this? The fact that it has absolutely no slides. So what were they able to fit in this unit? Am I gonna love it? Probably, because I love the other one and I can imagine I'm gonna love this one as well. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, let's get started by looking at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,995 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 1,309 pounds. It's gonna ride on twin 3,500 pound axles with 15 inch D-rated tires. And something that's really cool about the Grand Design Transcend product is they've moved to this really, really low profile aluminum siding which looks really nice it's not that typical corrugated look that you see on some units and it gives it a higher end a little bit more appealing look overall to it this is a stick and tin unit though so this is going to be aluminum siding over a wooden frame and this is going to be more on the entry level lower price line of what grand design offers so it's going to fit a lot of people's budgets Anyways, starting up front, this has an electric tongue jack. It has room for two 25-pound propane cans and room for two battery boxes, even though only one of them is installed at this time. Has scissor jacks going around for stabilization. This is going to be the outside of your furnace. Again, double axles. It does not have an upgraded suspension equalizer. It does run on Westlake tires. And the frame is an eight inch I-beam frame, which is actually pretty nice. I kind of expected it would be a six inch. So that's a pleasant surprise. Interestingly enough, the ladder to get you up to the top is on the side of the unit and it folds up against the side of this RV. You have your sewer connections right here, more stabilization. And then you have LED lighting back here as well on the top and bottom. It's also wired for a Furion wireless backup camera and your spare tires hanging off the four inch square bumper off the back. Now coming around this way, you can see you have your water heater over here, other side of your suspension. You have some power connections here and you have an awning that runs across this side. It doesn't not run the full length though. It's about four feet shy of the back and about five feet shy of the front. Let's take a look at the front pass-through storage area though. Has a huge pass-through storage, much larger than I thought it would be. Very impressed with that. Definitely carry a lot of stuff up here. Anyways, let's take a look inside of this Grand Design Transcend 247BH. Again, this is a very similar floor plan to one that I had recently reviewed, and I really liked that one. And actually the interior of this is almost identical to that one. So that's a pleasant surprise. Again, no slides. So whatever you fit in here, you have to fit into this space without having the ability to extend anything. And I love how they've done some things in here. So let's go over it. First of all, I love how the sofa, which is a jackknife sofa, so it can turn into a bed, faces directly at the TV. Nice, comfortable area. If you have kids in here, if they're doing homework, if you have to get work done, you have a nice booth style dinette with storage underneath it. This drops down and turns into another sleeping area. Plus you have this really nice countertop space here, perfect for a coffee maker, perfect for whatever you might need to set here as well. And countertop space here, three burner cooktop, small little oven right here, stove. And you have your compact microwave up top, as well as plenty of cabinetry around here and storage here. The only thing that you would think is lacking at first is a place for your silverware, but they put that right here. So you have two small drawers right here. They've utilized the space very, very well. Plus you have cubby holes right here for the kids' shoes. That's awesome. Probably even turn one of those into a sleeping spot for a small dog. But lots of storage. They've done a phenomenal job equipping this with the type of storage you would need in a unit like this, especially considering the sleeping accommodations. So as we work our way to the back, you can see the two enormous bunks. Really, really nice. What I like about this unit over the other one that I reviewed is the fact that this one puts an extra brace right here for the bunk. The other one, this kind of just hung here. And it seems as if that might be a failure spot eventually in the future on that unit. But this one gives you really, really good bunk sleeping accommodations here, as well as a tremendous amount of storage underneath and access to some of your plumbing, which is nice. So if you have a cat, a dog, you know, this is a perfect, perfect place to put their bed, put their litter box, things like that. 
absolutely amazing how they've utilized this space. Taking a look in the bathroom, really nice size shower. One thing I love about all Grand Design units is they do a great job equipping a good size shower stall in their units. Over here, really nice cornered sink, small medicine cabinet in the corner, towel holders, love those. Really nice place for toiletries and more towels and a porcelain toilet. Really nice, plenty of room in front of it as well. I love it when they take a floor plan like this with no slides and they really make it spacious and nice inside. You have a Furion refrigerator here and I believe this is probably a 12 volt refrigerator. It looks like it is, very nice. Let's take a look in the front bedroom area. First of all, you have a really nice space here to get into the bedroom area, which is something you don't see on a lot of these. Queen size bed, does not look like you could opt for a king size in here. Plenty of room on each side, and you have about a foot of space on the back of the bed to get around. So they've given you a good amount of space inside of this bedroom to negotiate your way onto the bed. Plus nice little wardrobe closets on each side. Good storage up top here and you have space right here. Now what I like about some units is when they open up the back corners here so you can put your phones and things there as well because if you're laying up here, you gotta worm your way back a little bit to set it right here. But overall, it's a pretty good layout. It would have been cool to maybe open up a little pocket right there so you can lay your phone there. This unit only has one air conditioning unit in it but you could probably put a second one in right here. You would just have to work out the wiring situation since this is a 30 amp wired unit and you'd need 50 amps if you're gonna run it through the main power system or you'd need to run like a separate 110 outlet off of that so you could plug it into the other connection on your pedestal. Here are your slide controls for your three slides that this doesn't have, that's why they're blank. But overall, this is a really cool little travel trailer. You know, this is definitely something I could see a relatively large family taking out over the weekend and, you know, enjoying. It's definitely what I would consider to be a well laid out floor plan and even slightly better than the other one that I did, which I believe was a Puma. And this specific unit's gonna have an MSRP around twenty-five dollars to $26,000. So the actual asking price should be significantly lower than that. And you should be able to negotiate to get a pretty good deal on one of these. And something else that's really cool about this unit that I just saw is that it already has a 165 watt solar panel pre-installed on top and it has a 25 amp solar controller already on top, which is really awesome. Plus they double insulate the roof, the front, uh, insulated underbelly, which is really nice. A lot of really great features about these transcends that make them an excellent value. So if you're looking at one of these, you know, definitely do a walkthrough, make sure that everything's in good working order and in great shape. And I would say that this is a unit I would recommend. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.